This is going to be on what I think probably spurred these riots going on or protests around the world is it was Magna Carta. Uh, England served, people in England served a bunch of paperwork for treason by sedition, which is what Reedsport Legal has claimed for many years. But anyhow, this is uh, what's going on that's spurring. And you're not. Guys, I know that we're used to looking at the world from our own little continent island, but if you want to know what's happening in the United States, you have to think in terms of global. What's happening, especially in Europe, especially in China, especially around the globe, because we're not any longer a little island continent that we only have to worry about what's going on here. Now, this video... I want you to watch because he talks about freedom. He talks about how to get our rights back. And it applies to us just as much as it applies to England, which is really a scary thought when England is actually more patriotic than we are. You got to watch it, man. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Roll the ducks. If it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, and it looks like a duck, then by God, it's a duck. If you look in the description, you'll see a link to his channel with the links that he's going to be talking about. When you go there, make sure to tell them Master's Report sent you. We're experiencing World War Three right now. A final war of their lights against us, the people. It's so important that you watch the entirety of this video. Because this could prove to be our last and final hope for humanity. Our last hope for true and utter freedom. And finally, an end to global tyranny. It's your civil responsibility to watch the entirety of this video and to share it as much as possible. I'm going to be explaining to you an international legal framework that has been suppressed and hidden from us in order to use our ignorance against us so that power and control can be exerted over us. This legal framework will be forming the basis of a historic event and global protests which will start to take place on the 22nd of June 2020. If you're watching this video after that date, then it is fine because it is important that you understand this legal framework in order to help you liberate your people as well as your country. Mass protests are about to erupt globally and many of us are working together in order to stop this war against humanity and this war against our consciousness. The information presented in this video will aid the dawn of a global revolution, one of the likes which you have never seen before. At the end of this video, I will explain to you our plans to legally take down global corrupt forces. Many people have been working together in order to make sure that this is possible, including solicitors and barristers. And I hope this video inspires other legal professionals to get together to fight this cause. In order to properly understand our rights, first need to explore the origin of our constitution as well as common law. In 1215 the Magna Carta was created, a document signed between King John of England as well as the barons of the land of that time. The Magna Carta is Latin for the Great Charter of Freedom, which is otherwise considered the greatest constitutional document of all time, as it has heavily influenced the formation of most democratic nations' constitutions all over the world including all countries within the Commonwealth, as well as the United States of America. The document was essentially the birth of democracy, constitutional rights, and civil liberty. Lawfully speaking, it was put in place to limit the monarch's power over people like you and me, and to ensure that they always act in the best interest of people of the land. It was put in place to prevent any tyrannical order from taking place, which we are currently unconstitutionally experiencing today. It stated that each individual bared as much power as each individual in the monarch, a lawful document that was so powerful that it had finally leveled the playing field, providing equal rights for all. Fundamentally speaking, the Magna Carta was derived from Christian law and the Ten Commandments in the Bible. Today, Christian laws, otherwise known as common law, laws put in place in order to ensure no loss, no harm, and no injury. Whether you believe in Christ or not, it doesn't matter. What matters is that these laws were put in place in order to protect our human rights. To protect us, the people, from ruling forces having unwarranted power over us. The Magna Carta is so important because it formed the basis 
of legal and human rights that each of us as individuals possess today. In 1688, the Bill of Rights was voted into English Parliament. In 1689, it was written into law. It was signed outside of Parliament, which gives it ultimate authority over any laws that have been created by Parliament. The Bill of Rights is an extension of the Magna Carta, and it essentially brought the Magna Carta into Parliament and common law. At the end of the Bill of Rights, it states that this document cannot be changed not now nor ever, and any attempt to do so is an act of treason, which is punishable by hanging. So what this means is that any attempt to take people's rights away is an act of treason and is punishable by death. Remember, the Magna Carta, Bill of Rights and Constitution supersedes parliamentary law, and no new law can oppose the rights given to us within our Constitution. Are you now starting to see where it is that I'm going with this? Each nation's parliaments and governments are afforded their power and sovereignty through us citizens. In terms of the United and it's no different here in America that the supreme law of the land does not, all these little legislative acts cannot supersede it. It's the same thing no matter what country you're in. United Kingdom, lawfully speaking, no individual in the monarch is any more powerful than any individual in the United Kingdom. Parliaments can only conduct new laws with the consent of its nation's people. And if they do not seek the nation's consent, then that is an act of treason. Basically, treason has been committed against us multiple times, in many, if not all, democratic nations. So, we are in our rights to be aware of this, and seek justice, which is punishable by death. Now that you understand the law, let's explore why this is more relevant than ever. Each one of the 52 countries within the Commonwealth that has implemented their own disaster act, has committed an act of treason by feeding people the illusion and lie that they have the ability to take our constitutional rights away. Our rights of freedom of movements, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom to work and support yourself financially. People have been brainwashed into believing that our governments have ultimate authority and power over us and our constitutional rights. As a result, it has caused a severe economic depression which has resulted in the closure and loss of many businesses and livelihoods, which is a direct act of treason against us by our own governments. Many acts of treason have been committed against us, the people, because we have not been properly educated on our rights as individuals and as a collective. Governments and ruling parties have taken advantage of our ignorance and our lack of knowledge and have used this against us, and lawfully speaking in the process, have committed acts of treason against us. Let's look at Britain for example. In 2007, the Queen was ill-advised by the Privy Council and Gordon Brown, which led to the signing of the Lisbon Treaty, which was a deliberate attempt to remove our sovereignty. This was an act of treason. Parliament did not seek the consent of its people, which in itself was an act of treason. Unfortunately, people do not know any better, and they are unaware of their rights and laws until this very day. In 1997, the Labour Party had won the elections, and Tony Blair was their leader. Directly after he had won, it increased MPs' salaries by 50%. In 1998, he had gone against the Bill of Rights and changed the laws on treason. By doing that, he had actually committed treason himself. The government treats people's silence as consent and have tricked people into thinking that this is legal. But it is not, because the government requires a referendum each time it wants to implement and change new laws. Parliament has the right to write new laws into existence. But these laws can only come into effect with the consent of the people. This is what people have failed to realize. And this lack of knowledge has resulted in unconstitutional crimes having been committed against us. It's almost as though their lights and governments are convoluting laws so us, the people, do not understand them and the processes that are required in order to make them effective. And so that if we'd ever come to understand them, that they would not be subjected towards certain punishment for the treason that they've committed against us. Article 39 of the Bill of Rights states that anyone accused of a crime needs to be trialed in a court of their peers. This law was broken when magistrates' courts was brought into being. This again was an act of treason, and had given their lights and parliament more control and power to practice corruption within the justice system. The real question is, how have they been managing 
to continuously keep doing this and getting away with it time and time again? Well, it's because they pass these laws without being contested. That's what gives the legal system weight to go ahead and implement these laws. It's also because the courts and the media go ahead and communicate as though these laws cannot be contested. People are unaware that they still possess the power to still be able to decide what happens and what doesn't. But the truth is that all it takes is for a small majority to get together and contest these laws. The more people get together, the more weight the power of the people possess and the easier it is that these laws can be revoked. If people are unaware of their rights, then they will not exercise their rights. This is a global phenomenon. There's an abuse of ignorance and needs to be stopped. What's sad is that most British people are unaware of the fact that they actually have a constitution. The Bill of Rights mentioned in this video affects Britain as well as 52 countries within the Commonwealth, including my own country, South Africa. The reason for this ignorance and lack of knowledge within Britain and all 52 countries within the Commonwealth is because politicians and media never ever mention common law. And because it's been hardly mentioned, that is why the public is unaware of it. This has been happening all over the world. Our media outlets are controlled by the same rich lights which are controlling our governments. They have been continuously controlling our information and continuously committing acts of treason against us and the nations that we represent. Sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common on social, social media. media. More alarming than some media. Policies and stories are true without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members have been heard upon them by the Magna Carta and Bill of Rights has not been upheld by them. Therefore, everyone responsible has committed an act of treason. They're doing this because they're frightened that far too many people are awakened get in the way of their plan for total world domination. Lawful documents have been served on the 23rd of May 2020, a first step of a due process to bring these people to justice for their crimes and treason committed against the indigenous people. Giving the government 30 days notice in order to find a remedy of the situation and to deliver justice to the people. After the 30 day notice period, any British person that wants to fight for justice and freedom watching this video will legally as a collective be allowed to get together and themselves seek remedy and justice. It is so important that you understand that this cannot happen seconds or minutes before the 30 day notice period is up. If it does, then you will have no legal rights to take action. Once the 30 day notice period is up and directly after it has been completed, then all the power will lie in the people's hands. On that day, mass protests will be happening. A lawful rebellion against sedition and treason. Potentially the greatest revolution this planet has ever seen. It is extremely important that after the notice period is up, on that day and on that hour, justice is exacted. Police will legally not be allowed to oppose such a collective because the police belong to the people and not to parliament. The only way that this can become legally null and void is if a larger group of citizens get together and oppose the freedom and justice that this movement is fighting for. As long as people are lawful and not violent within this process, each individual will be standing within their own rights. Citizens are allowed to use minimal force in order to protect themselves. This is a legal term that allows people to use the same amount of force inflicted upon them just so long as they are not the aggressor. So, as I'm about to upload the video, on the 23rd of May 2020, I've just gotten a call now from my fellow British patriots who had gone in to hand in the lawful documents of sedition and treason, giving the 30-day notice. This is what we're doing today, for, and as we said, this is not a protest. Or no, it's not a protest. We are upholding the law today. We're just here to uphold the law of this land. It's in here, proof of sedition and treason. As they had gone in to hand them in, there had been a whole lot of cops there waiting, which means this whole operation and movement has been tracked, traced and followed. Under the Health Protection Act of 2020, Regulation 7, on the oh. you're being asked to go home. But you're under no process, sir. You're being asked to go home. That's not a sir, that's a female. Sir, it doesn't matter what you believe in or
means is that they've actually put the ball in our court right now and the 30 day notice starts from today and on the 22nd of June 2020 Britain will be shut down. This is extremely powerful because it will act as a symbol and a catalyst to show people around the world how much power we bear within our rights legally as individuals and most importantly as a collective. After the United Kingdom does this, Australia will shortly follow and we expect this to inspire many other democratic nations within the Commonwealth to do the same. This truly is the start of a final battle that is our last chance to truly be able to protect our freedom, sovereignty and rights as human beings. In the Bill of Rights it says that if treason is committed against the people then they are commanded to rise up and peacefully seek justice for the treason that has been committed against them which means that it is your legal and civil responsibility to peacefully rise up and seek remedy against the sedition and treason that has been committed against you. In the comment section there are links to groups you can join on Facebook, Telegram, Reddit and Discord. I myself am working with two organizations called Earth United as well as the World People Council which you'll also find links to in the comment section below. I hope you realize the seriousness of this and are ready to act. If this doesn't wake you up, then nothing will. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you can be notified whenever one of my latest videos come out, where I will continue to spread love and peace in the form of wisdom and knowledge. I will also continue to cover the story as it unfolds. If you'd like to... Well, there you have it, guys. What are we doing here in America?